Hello everybody and welcome back to NeuroPsyQ. Thanks for joining us again today for another video. In today's video, we're going to be giving you an update on our recent video about anosmia and COVID-19. So we're going to talk a bit more about lack of smell and how that relates to COVID-19. We had a couple questions on the last video and so that is why we've made this video to kind of touch on those and also because there was a recent article published on April 12th which has helped to shine some light on this situation. So the paper we looked at to answer these questions comes from a study that was done at the University of California, San Diego campus and they looked at patients coming into their health center and they wanted to survey how many of them had the symptom of loss of smell or loss of taste and how many of them tested positive for COVID-19. So they took a sample of 1,480 patients and out of those 1,480 patients, 102 of them tested positive for COVID-19 and all the rest were negative. From those 102 positive patients, 59 of them were used in the study and surveyed for loss of smell and loss of taste on a patient reported scale. They also looked at 203 of the COVID-19 negative patients for loss of smell and loss of taste as well. And what they found from the study is that people who experience loss of smell are 10 times more likely to test positive for COVID-19. So of the patients that tested positive, 68% of them reported a loss of the sense of smell and 71% of them reported a loss of the sense of taste. So 68% had anosmia and 71% reported dysugepsia. Of the negative patients, only 16% of them reported loss of smell and 17% reported loss of taste. Now we talked about why this might happen again. Um, if these people were coming into the health center with just a common cold or something like that, they may report symptoms just like when you plug your nose, you feel like you can't taste anymore. What the study also reported is that there is a high rate of recovery for people who report these symptoms. It takes them about two to four weeks to fully regain their sensation and it's just as quick as the overall recovery from the virus. Interestingly, the study also reported that people who have sore throats were more likely to test negative for COVID-19. So perhaps you have a bunch of symptoms aligning with COVID-19, but those who had sore throats were less likely to be diagnosed with COVID-19. So this is good. We see a recovery in patients who are experiencing the loss of the sense of smell and loss of the sense of taste. So we don't have to be worried about permanent sensory loss. Nonetheless, fever is still the most common symptom for COVID-19, and we talked about that a little bit more in last Saturday's video. So if you wanna learn about the cytokine storm that causes this fever outbreak and the immune response, you can head over to that video. But regardless of this, the UC San Diego Health Center has decided to add loss of sense of smell and loss of the sense of taste to their screening procedures. So rather than just looking for fever, cough, and fatigue, which are the top three symptoms of COVID-19, they also ask for the loss of smell and loss of taste in patients. They published this paper in hopes that with their findings, other institutions might follow suit and add anosmia and dysugepsia to their screening procedures. But the update is that people who experience anosmia are 10 times more likely to test positive for COVID-19. It's also a prominent symptom of COVID-19 and recovery happens in about two to four weeks, just as quickly as recovery to the virus would occur. So there you have it, some of the updates on this topic for today. We're going to continue to keep you updated with credible information throughout this process. Remember though, if you experience any symptoms, don't turn to the internet for diagnosis. Make sure you call a medical professional and you seek professional help. 
Thanks again for joining us today on NeuroPsyQ. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we hope to see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.